So I just went outside and collected a bucket of snow and I'm going to put it on the wood stove so we have more water. I'm going to heat this for dishes and then I think every day now that we have snow I'm just going to collect water or snow in the morning, put it on the wood stove and we'll use it for toilet water and dishes. It'll save us going to the water hole so much. So, it'll be up there. See how it works out. It is a cold, windy, windy day out. And I gotta finish this skirting, so that sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna get bundled up. It is freezing, freezing cold out today and so windy and that makes it way worse. So, I've been taking some stuff out of the um, tent over here and bringing it into the camper. And then I've also got my workstation set up again here a little bit closer now. So this whole side's done. The front over there is all done on that side. Now this is done. And this already was done. And then today I worked a little bit more on this end, so I finished it all off. And then made like a, this is going to be a little door over here, but it's friggin' so cold. I don't feel like doing anything more than this, so I just use screws. So if he needs to get underneath, he can just unscrew that and pull the door off. Next year, or if we get a warmer day and I feel like it, I'll put some ha latches on the side there so it like opens like a real door. But not today, not today. And then I've started over here. So all I have is this little bit left, and then I'll be fully done all the skirting. But I have had enough. I'm gonna go over to my neighbors, have a coffee, and hang out with Sam over there. Cause I am cold. Look at this face. It's frozen. I gotta go warm up by the wood stove and then maybe I'll go to my neighbors for coffee. Here's my bucket of snow. It is now steamy water. Pretty cool, gonna do dishes with it. After a freezing cold day outside, we're now in here and making some pasta for supper out of the deer meat. Speaking of pasta, where is it? Pasta and the bread. We're going to do pasta oh. and garlic bread. We have some nice bread and garlic salt and uh, make that. We're nice and warm, at least like it's freezing cold out, but it's so nice coming in here where it's really, really warm and It's not a problem we have in here. No. Jeremy brought some more wood over today and we didn't do a ton today outside because it was so cold, but here it is. I was outside it. the whole day. <laughs> I feel like I was outside the entirety of the day. I feel like we accomplished a lot more yesterday though. We had to keep coming in to warm up today. I don't feel the same as you do about that. I feel like it was equally the exact same. I feel like I got more wood up, but I get up it. I get up earlier. Yesterday? Me? I didn't come in anymore today. For cold breaks? Not at all. I was in once making coffee. <laughs> you and then our brakes froze in the truck. I drove over to the neighbor's to have coffee, and the truck brakes were frozen, and I panicked and called him, and he had to come over and rescue the truck and fix it for me. It's all good now though. Yeah, it is all good. We took Sam to her dance class and I made him drive in because I was too nervous. But the brakes were perfectly fine. Now we're going to have this yummy pasta that Jeremy's going to make tonight. And enjoy the evening by the fire. Black's already sitting here. We're gonna, we gonna, really can't see her. Can you see her? It's so dark. Show them our recipe, which is not much of a recipe. Black kitty, black. Hey, black. Not gonna talk. She loves the wood heat. What's yeah. your recipe, babe? Meat. 
and pasta noodles. One pound, <laughs> one pound of deer meat. One pound of deer meat. One onion. One onion. I was gonna put olives, but I actually doesn't like olives. I don't mind if you only put a little bit. So I don't want to not like a true authentic Italian. I'm not Italian at all, and I like them. You can put a little bit of olives. It's going to be alright a little bit. I don't mind a sub with a little bit of olives. Hey, you want to see an easy way to cut an onion? Here. I showed you her. You showed me before. I showed now her, but she does, doing it wrong. I showed her, but she doesn't do it. Drives you cut the crazy. tops off. Okay. Then you do that. Of course, it would take longer this time. When I mean, you showed me, you cut the whole middle. You cut it right in half. No, now you do. Now you do. This is what I do all the time. Huh? This, this is, is not what you do ever. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. This guy's nuts. And then it stays together because you don't go the whole way there. Look at that. Then you can just pick that up. They're all in little pieces. Look at that. Look at that. That ain't just a pretty face. You ain't even that some days. So one onion, no olives. Put some olives in. Just put a them can in. Of, uh, I'm going to regret it. I'm going to hear about it all night. A can of argument and some garlic. That says garlic powder, but it's actually garlic salt. Just salt and pepper. Them. And whatever that sauce is, where's that? Here? Yeah, it should be. In the same one? No, it's probably in the very bottom one. With all the canned stuff. That makes more sense. I don't even know where the stuff is. And this place. random roasted garlic sauce that was on sale at a grocery store. We will make our own pasta sauce maybe next year or the year after. Because next year we'll be doing the addition. So maybe the year after. Who knows, really. One day. I like making pasta sauce though. I used to do it with my mother. We should bake cookies for dessert. Feels like a baking night. And that's pretty much all we're going to put in. We got no mushrooms or anything. So. Put in a few olives. But it's sweet it. having the. It's a lot of onion, just here. It is a lot of onion. I don't know why you're doing a whole onion. Because I love onion. You wouldn't let me have the olives, so I'm gonna Maybe onion. I'm gonna onion this up. I don't have to hear about it all night. Onion and garlic. It's gonna be oniony, More garlicky, onion salty. Than meat. It's gonna be yummo. It'll be good, dude. It'll be. I'll yeah. be putting in some olives just to make them quiet. I think it will taste nice with the food. But but it's sweet having the green pepper would be good too, man. But it's awesome having that deer meat because we made the first thing we did hunter's pie, which is basically shepherd's pie. With gravy. With gravy, which is super important. The gravy just makes it that much better. And then you can just grab a slice of it any time of the day. I got these knives off a buddy of mine. They can't remember where they're he said he awesome. got them. I think their restaurant was getting rid of them. And he took them home and cleaned them up. Man, they're fantastic knives. They're so great. They work great. But, you know I was saying now. Oh, anyways, yeah, we've had a few different things with the deer. But having it on hand to make all these different things. We have the sausages in the morning, pretty much every morning. Yeah. Deer sausages with eggs. It's awesome having them. Hi, Gray. Gray. This is appropriate here on my kitchen table, eh? Gray. She's like, be quiet, woman. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gray. Think? Somebody's probably gonna flip out over breaking the spaghetti too, eh? Because a lot of people say don't break it. Oh yeah, yeah, a little I, pot. I when I was growing up, we didn't. Now I always do. I'm so hungry. Hurry up, cook fast. Oh, and then after I do that, after I boil this, I drain that water, and then I just throw a scoop of butter in it and stir it up. Keeps it all from sticking. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little 
we'll, we'll all have a slice of this too, eh? Yep. Beautiful Italian bread we got here. We'll make it some garlic bread. This stuff's actually right nice. It's Italiano. And it's, uh, we can act like this because Ashley's Italian. This. Bread. A couple of slices of that with some butter and some garlic salt. So, so good. We'll get at our awesome toaster here. Yeah, yeah, show our toaster. I don't think we've ever shown it. Let's move this. We're not going to use it tonight. Okay, watch it. I get a drain this. Can I throw it down this? Well, I guess so. I should have got my strainer in. I think it's in the camper. Oh, are you using noodles? Come on. I think so. I there you go. I was saying noodles. I'm going to get the pasta strainer. Yeah, that feels like a lot of water, eh? Yeah. That steam's hot. Maybe you should start a cooking show. Should, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maple Berry Eats. Maple Berry Eats. Maple Berry Pasta. Wild Game Cuisine. Ooh, I like that one. It's just all this, like, Pretty much regular cooking. Basically. <laughs> Some people can't cook anything. My sister, she can't boil water. Hopefully she's, she's not watching. Probably watch watching us. Hopefully she's not watching this. I haven't lived with her in 20 years though, so maybe she can boil water now. That's when she was like 14, she couldn't boil water, so he's still holding that against you. She was I remember she almost burnt the house down, just like Doing icing or something. <laughs> oh, we have cheese too, eh? Yeah, we do have cheese. Ooh, so we look have at this cheesy garlic bread. Look at this thing. It's a great little toaster. We've been using this all summer in the camper. This thing's awesome. You throw that on. You got we it put, with a Canadian tire. You put butter on it. That toaster. I think they had them at Bass Pro and everything though. Because people down the states one hundred percent do not have a Canadian I'm like tire. shaking. I need to eat. Do you have a bass pro down there? Oh, hey, I should show that thing again. What thing? This light. That light there? Oh, yeah. Just quick. I I forgot that that light. Look at that thing. It's actually awesome. Whoop, whoop. We, like, it lights light. up like the whole room. It's it is crazy. crazy. But there's a, I forgot to say, there's a 45% discount code below for this light. The link for the code, the code's there and the link for the light to the end of November. Throw that out there because I forgot to say it. This camera's all blurry again. Stink. Did I touch something? No, it's zoomed it's right in here. That was the whole thing. Yummers! Here's supper. Looks good. Where's that toast? That garlic bread? Right there. What's up, Yum. We almost forgot about the Parmesan! <laughs> this tastes fantastic, by the way. Very good. Mm-mm.